Hi! Hi, people of the world. As for KJ, what's up, mga brodies? But, well, KJ is not here. KJ is in work. And today, I'm gonna talk to you guys about um, things I should have known before transferring or before living in a boarding house. thing I want to talk to you about living in a boarding house is how expensive it can get. I'm telling you, if you live in a house with your parents, it's easy to eat anything you want. It's easy to relax without anything in your mind because you know for a fact that um, your parents are the one who's going to pay for the bills. Your parents are the one who's going to pay for your food. Your parents are giving you allowances. So basically, living in a house is so much easier than living in a boarding house. Don't get me wrong. And I want to talk to you about how expensive it can get. Number one, you have to buy furniture. Especially if your boarding house is just plain as is. You really need to buy furniture and you need to buy um, a lot of things for the house. It's not about the big furniture as well. Also for the tiny stuff, for example, tissue paper. You need to buy your own tissue paper. Alcohol, you need to buy your own alcohol. Food, chips, everything. Pillows, you have to buy your own pillows. And living in a boarding house, it's not as expensive as living in a house. But trust me, it is also expensive living in a boarding house, especially without parents. You can't really rely on them. You have to track your every move because like for example, I want to turn on my air con today, but can I turn it on for the rest of the night? Or is it going to be out of the budget? KJ and I, we have like a, a budget every month for our electricity and bills. In the boarding house, you will learn how to track kilowatts. If you don't know what a kilowatt is, it's a, like a it's the reading of your electricity per month. You have to budget your money period budget your money that's what you have to know you really have to budget your money the next thing i wish i knew before transferring to a boarding house is you have to be independent because i'm a spoiled brat everybody knows i'm a spoiled bitch everything i want i get but you have to be independent i'm lucky enough that I learned how to cook and YouTube was always available in times when I needed it because I really learned, you really learn a lot when you're alone. Now the third thing is I wish I'd known that you'd need a lot of things in the boarding house. I wish I'd known that you need a lot of things to survive. We went to the grocery store and you think, oh I have so many things at home. I don't need a lot of things. But when you're in the, when you reach the grocery, you go, oh crap, I don't have salt anymore. Crap, I don't have soy sauce anymore. I don't have sesame oil anymore. All of those tiny things, that's what gets you like local, if you get what I mean. It makes you crazy. I was really hoping to give you guys a room tour, but what stressed me enough though was I couldn't give you a room tour. Next thing I wish I knew before living in the boarding house is it's stressful and I can't stress this enough it's very stressful why when you fight with your boyfriend or when I when me and KJ fight it's usually because you can't pick that up you can't put this there you can't wash the dishes you can't cook this you can't do that it's very stressful you think living in a boarding house is so relaxing because you're alone it's more stressful when you're alone. We were fighting over small things. Small things. You'd be like, what? Why would you fight about that? That's even like, that's nothing to fight about. But once you live together, I tell you, the greatest challenge in a relationship is living together. That made me stressful a lot because not, I mean, I'm blessed that my boyfriend and I are living in place together. A lot of people are envious because they really want that to happen and they can't 
convince their parents and maybe I'll make a video about that soon but I don't know it's the little bits that annoy you the most for example right now I'm annoyed why because a sock is on the drawer and it's hanging and I don't like that stuff like the that. last thing that I thought I wish I'd known before living in a boarding house is a lot of work because you have to clean your boarding house you have to make sure there's no dirt example right now with COVID going on you have to clean everything and my boyfriend every morning when he gets home he stops in the door sanitizes himself from up to bottom including his phone because I will not let him enter if he is not sanitized if he doesn't smell like alcohol beside me he's going out it's a lot of work I'm telling you boarding houses is a lot of work fortunate enough that I'm living in a boarding house with my boyfriend and that we have food to eat without further picketing do that is the end of my things I wish I'd known before moving to a boarding house that's all for this video I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something if ever you're planning to live in a boarding house I hope you learn something Sassy and I wish you stay safe right Tata? Wish you stay safe at times like this. Um, we wish you stay home if you can. I'm very fortunate I can stay home and do nothing. I hope you stay safe, stay clean. I'll see you guys in my next video.